Trips tied in offense. We're in the Bills playbook. If you want to get my full ebook on this, link is going to be in the description to go sign up for our school.com community page. That is where you'll get access to all of my Madden offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of our NCAA offensive and defensive ebooks. Cool part about that site is you get everything for $10. So if you want to sign up, link's going to be in the description. Now we're going to be playing a little 6 1, and I'm going to be using some cool stuff out of Trips that I really like. And the idea here that I'm going for with this little uh, gameplay is really trying to take advantage of the quick, short passing game uh, as it's just kind of my favorite way and it's been my favorite way to pass a Madden for quite a long time. So you're going to see a little bit more West Coast short, quick passes to neutralize pressure, which is then going to open up some of our bigger dots downfield. Now, the whole idea with this offense and kind of what I'm doing out of it right now is again to just manipulate space and try to attack the defense horizontally and then attack the defense vertically. So here we're going to look to the flat. He goes with the cover two coverage. Wide receiver short post I think is the best play in the game to be able to manipulate the defense quick with quick reads that really are very effective and work work pretty pretty well. So the biggest thing here is we're trying to identify the user trying to identify where the pressure is coming from and trying to really I just kind of essentially take advantage and, and look quick. You be quick with our reads. The biggest thing when I that I, the biggest piece of advice that I could give you is understand like when a read is you're, you're really looking at the space the defender is attacking, which is super important. So one of the things I said we were really trying to accomplish is we're trying to utilize the short passing game to open up the quick pass and i actually kind of got messed up there so we're just going to scramble out with brady and get some easy easy yardage but essentially what will happen is the opponent will start playing a lot of cover two to basically try to take away some of our quick throws our quick passing game which will then open up the deep ball on that left sideline with that fade Zit or that fade combo, but really this is this is truly one of my favorite ways to play Madden every year. So you see here we're just forcing we're forcing hard flats. If they're not going to play hard flats, we're going to throw that little five yard out every single time, every single time, and then that's eventually going to open up for uh, for some things we can do later on. So here he's showing kind of a man to man look. So I'm going to go to one of my favorite plays for man coverage. But well, we are going to read quick or quick flats just in case uh, he's doing anything. And I actually had the post, but he actually played pretty decent with his user. But we are able to scramble out of there with Big Tom and, and get in the end zone. The cool part about trip side in is really the only formation, not the only formation I think does this well, but it's the most, I just think it's the best at manipulating kind of the underneath space just you know i really do i think it's it's just the best uh the best formation to do this kind of stuff from is really trips it just provides really the best spacing possible in the game so here i'm gonna look at that quick out early and then kind of progress to my curls quick outs taken away tight ends open possession catch that in the back of the end zone and we are tied up Defensively, I'm actually going to be in the same defense that my opponent is in. I think 6-1 is pretty much a it, – it's it's at least a top three or four defense in the game, if not the number one. And I've got a full ebook on that on the school page, uh, the school.com community page that I talked about earlier. It's a great platform to be able to post ebooks. So if you want to get access to that, that will be linked in the description. So I'm actually in the Patriots playbook. I've kind of switched over to Pats. Main reason why is because I pretty much run 6-1 90% of the time anyway. And so this just gives me the ability uh, to have to have everything uh, in one in one little one little sequence here. So just gonna start out with like a kind of a basic uh, basic double Mabel. See what he does. And then we'll just kind of adjust as we go through. I think he's in Colts. So it should be a pretty standard matchup here. One little pro tip is to put this guy on the left on a quarter if they're wor if you're worried about double post because he'll actually play, as you see right there. He'll play the post really well. 
Deep half does play the post good as well, but I find another thing you can do if you're trying to stop double posts is a defensive setup like what you see on your screen now. These are both good defenses for double posts. Again, just trying to force that. He actually going to throw right at me. We'll take the ball. And we get to stop our first drive. I heard of this one time, and I didn't really think I understood it completely, but he said, you know, it's uh, David T. He said defense is just adjusting to what the offense is doing, taking away the main things, right? Don't let them have the layup throws. Right there, we were able to take away double posts, which is what he wanted to do. So when I'm in the middle of the field like this and I'm in trips, it's kind of hard because the routes are – everything just works a little bit differently. So I like to just go to my, my tried and true flat zig. But you can really do – I mean, there's a lot you can do with it. So as user here to the right, probably going to be sending some pressure. So my first read here is going to be to the right, is sending pressure, and voila. Now, why do I read the right side first before I read the left side? Because typically – when I'm playing 6-1, they're going to go user that trip side a lot more than they're going to use her. Now you see he gets out of 6-1, we already know. And so now we can kind of get to some of our other stuff that I like to do out of this. But first and foremost, we want him to just make sure uh, that he's not going to blitz us heavy. So we're going to go to the setup. And notice these horizontal plays you see right here. There's that tight end post. Really love that setup. And we're able to manipulate the coverages. Well, one thing we don't do a ton out of this play or out of this offense is really attack the right sideline. We attack the left sideline. We attack all areas underneath as well. Um, right here, this is kind of a fun little play that I'm about to show you. I'm throwing out route here to the right side. So I'm really like my first read is right side, quick flat. Didn't really like what I got there. My hitch totally dumbed out, and I threw a pick. So I was trying to throw the hitch right there. The hitch was wide open. And for some reason, uh, because of the bumping in this game, he just did not do what he was supposed to do. And that kind of sucks. All right, so bunch strong. Um, I'm going to go with this. Just a press 30. So I think he's going to be running the bubble screen here. And I'm actually going to shade down. Get the A-gap, get Nano detected. Kind of a sad day because we played pretty good defense. But I think the 6-1 Mabel with pressure mixed in and it's kind of the best way to be playing uh, defense right now. Mabel coverage has been one of the best defenses in Madden for – uh, really since it's been put into the game, since Madden 21. So first at 10, he could be running the bubble screen. I'm kind of going to concede the bubble or the, the running back. I'm going to take away the, the screen with my user. And it gets three vertical routes. That's a mid-zone KO, mid KO there. I wish he would play that, or I wish that would be a KO. Because he, he throws right out of hard flat, essentially. And there's basically no consequence. Here, I'm going to go with this version of the D. Get a deep crosser. Going to throw around about 15 different KOs. That's not going to be a problem. And third and five. So a little pro tip, or it's not really a pro tip, but it's just something that if you didn't know, it's like I'm running 30 and five zone drops. But at any point, I can go to a reset the play, and it will, it will basically – allow these 30s to become back to their standard depths. So you should see a hard flat on the right, and then, yeah, I was kind of anticipating something like that. I wish I could – I wish they didn't throw at your user so much in, uh, in these game modes. So short side, going to go to this setup and kind of anticipate some kind of crossing route to the right. I like how you can kind of invert the Mabel and, and do different things with it that way as well. That's a really weird route combo. I don't know what that was. Again, not getting too overzealous, just kind of, you know, filling them out, filling them out a little bit. Every now and then I'll go to like a, 
like right here. We'll go just this setup. Get a nice shed. That's another thing about six one. You get these sheds really well. I really don't like to blitz much out of six one, honestly. Like I really like to play coverage out of this. I really like this coverage because I take away the yellow zones. Kind of force you to, to play different here. Very good. Nice pressure. And now we got him in a third and 21. So a couple different things that they could probably do. Verticals is really the main one. We're going to take that away, force him to check it down, and just hope we can tackle. And we can't. We're, you know, the way they've really messed up the tackling in this game, I'll tell you that. So here I'm going to reset my zone drops. I'm playing super aggressive. I'm trying to just take away that corner route because that's what he threw last time. And we get the stop. So right there, what I did was I put my safeties and hook curls. I mean, if he put a streak on the field, it was probably GG's, right? But what he ended up doing and what I was kind of anticipating was last time, and this is where defense is all about adjusting what the offense do is understanding tendencies. Last time he needed a big dot, he went to a corner route to the right. So I did everything the same, but this time my user usered that corner route a little bit more confidently and uh, was able to get the interception. So uh, in these situations here, one of my favorite things to do is try to keep it fairly simple because he can really put himself in a bad spot. So we're really looking for these quick flat to the left, and it's not available. But the tight end is going to be available, and we'll just ag that in front of the KO and be able to get kind of out of harm's way. And we'll go ahead and actually take this down to the completion. So when you're playing offense the way that I'm playing offense, it's uh, frustrating for them, especially from a blitzing perspective. They, it, it's going to be hard for them to consistently send a ton of pressure at you with this because you have so many quick reads. But the other thing that's really important is that you stay super patient offensively. Uh, that's that's what made trips tight end and is, is really what the best trips tight end players in the world have done you know, throughout years in Madden is they stay patient. That is so important. So you want to go with the ghost route flat combo. So I'm looking to that left side early. I'm also going to slide to the left to try to pick up any pressure that he might be sending off that left side. And again, my first read is the flat, and then I'm looking at the zig. So see here, I take that flat because that's what I get quick. And you see how quick I'm getting it. I'm just looking out there. Is there anybody in that? Is there a defender in that space? No, I'm going to throw that out there every single time and just take advantage of space, All right? Putting defenders in conflict and taking defenders in space. So you see how he, he lowered that guy? There's a couple of ways that I can take advantage of that, but for right now, uh, just because of how he's playing, I'm actually going to let him try to stop that combo, and I'm really not going to look over there as my first read. My first read is now going to be to the left and taking a look at my tight end and my, my ghost. So you see here I get a lot of pressure, and I actually get all the way back to my fifth read, and that's just a little bit of like I look to the left side. I saw the space was – really cluttered a lot of players there to the left. So I immediately came right back to the right side and was able to able to take advantage of that. Another one of my favorite methods to attack is uh, something like what you see right here. And this fade is just trying to take advantage of if they do go cover two, which he does go cover two right here. And again, I just kind of tucked that away. And I knew ultimately I was going to come back to that in a key, you know, in a situation I could have saved that dot, but, uh, you know, and, and we end up, we're, we're not being in a good position to, to take advantage of it. And he's not really, you know, playing great offensively. He actually looks like he's going to go ahead and quit out. You see how frustrated people get. Is he going to quit out or is he just going to pause? He's going to go ahead and quit out of here. So, little horizontal attack on a trip. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get all my ebooks, linked in the description down below.